In this tutorial, I'll show you all you need to get going with Capture One Express. Learn how to import and edit your photos and apply Capture One styles to speed up your workflow. Let's get started. Before we start editing, let's take a quick look at the interface. We can see all our photos in the browser at the bottom, and in the middle we have the viewer to see our selected photo. On the right we have our tools for editing our photos, and at the top we have the toolbar with our cursor tools. So let's take a closer look at the tools. To make editing easier, this area has been divided into various tool tabs. To speed up your workflow, the most commonly used tools can be found in the Quick Tool tab here. All tools can be collapsed or expanded by simply clicking the name. The Library Tool tab is important to mention, as here you can organise and manage all your photos. So let's import some photos by clicking on the Import button here. Now I can choose a folder. So let's use this one and just click Import All. If you want to import more photos, just click on the Import button in the toolbar. To speed up your workflow, Capture One can automatically adjust photos for you, either one at a time or several in one go. So for a single image, simply click on Auto Adjust in the toolbar at the top. You can also select which tools you'd like Capture One to automatically adjust by simply holding down on the Auto Adjust button. For more than one photo, I'll first hold down Command on Mac or Control on Windows and click to add some more photos to my selection, and then click on Auto Adjust as before. To start editing your photos, the Quick Tool tab is a great place to start. It contains all the basic tools for simple but effective adjustments to your photos. Adjustments can be made by simply moving the slider. So if you would like to reset back to the default position, just double click anywhere on the slider bar to get back to zero. So this image is a little dark, so I'll increase the exposure and the midtones could be brighter, so I'll lighten these using the brightness slider. Now I'll go down to my High Dynamic Range tool, and let's get some more detail back into those shadows. Also, let's recover some of those blown out highlights. Now I can play with the white balance, as maybe it looks a bit too cold, so I'll just increase the Kelvin slider. Now let's add some contrast to those midtones by increasing the clarity. Finally, to finish, I'll choose my Crop Cursor tool and I'll just reposition this in the center. Now I can press Enter, which will switch my Cursor tool to the Pan Cursor tool and show the new crop. If I want to see the original photo before any adjustments were made, I can go to the toolbar and click on the Reset button. If I click this once, this will reset everything back to default, but if I hold down my Alt key and click and hold, I can see before and after. Styles in Capture One are presets that can easily and quickly apply a certain look to your photos. So styles are found in the Adjustments tool tab here, if I click on Built-in Styles, you can see the styles which are already available in Capture One Express. Styles can be applied to just one photo or multiple. So if I hold down Shift and select these four photos, now I can apply the same style to all of them. Let's take a look at the Spring Styles. If I scroll down the list, a preview of each style will be shown instantly, so when I'm ready to apply a style, I can simply click to add this to my photos. To remove the style, I just need to click again. So I'll choose this style because I like the look of that one. Now that the style is applied, it's really easy to edit this further. If I go back to my Quick Tool tab, this photo is perhaps a bit too bright, so I'll just lower the exposure. 
I'll select this one as well and reduce the exposure also. There are many style packs to purchase in the Capture One store, so don't forget to check that out. Finally, I'd like to export some of my photos for printing and to share them online. I'll shift select these six photos here and then click on the export icon up in the toolbar. First, let's choose a folder to store our exported photos in. I'll make a new folder in my pictures folder and I'll call this Tokyo Photos. Now I can set this as the export folder. Because I want to share these online, I'll reduce the size so they load faster. So in the scale dropdown, I'll select width and then add 2000 for the pixel dimensions. Click on export and you're all done. Now you're ready to start editing your own photos. If you want to learn more about Capture One, you can access the resource hub from the help menu here. This will give you access to new learning materials from live broadcasts to tutorials and direct access to support.